Good morning everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by my video. I normally don't share the small amount of art supplies that I purchase because I don't know, I just um they're usually not that interesting, but I'm really interested to share these uh, new to me brushes that I purchased from this brand, Shapir Farben. I've never heard of them before. And I picked these up off of Amazon. It's a set of 10 brushes. And a really nice selection of sizes here from two all the way up to 20. And yeah, I really enjoy using these more thicker um, handled brushes. They look nice. So I thought I would test them out. I don't wanna do a review or anything like that because I'm not really good with that stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash them all off and get that coating off of the brush tip here off. They have a really weird smell to them, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. I'll be right back. All right, so I got them cleaned up, and this is how they're looking like so far. Really nice. They were very dusty, too. So I'm going to go ahead and have a seat and just do some basic brush strokes just to test them out. And yeah, all right, let me go ahead and grab some paper. Yep, I'm noticing I'm going to have to clean them off a bit more because the handle comes with some type of sticky glue. Maybe to keep them in place. Yeah, they have that, um, that dry wood smell. I don't know, it brings me back to the 80s, those chalky <laughs> classrooms. <laughs> Let me go clean them off again. Alright, so just a good wipe down with a wipe on the handle. Yep, that takes it all off. I think so. Okay, you guys. So I spent the morning uh, doing some chores in and out of the house, running some errands and all that good stuff. So now it is a little late in the afternoon. So unfortunately, light is working against me, but I'm going to try my best to share with you a cute little whimsical uh, Christmas birdie stack here freestyle meaning no pencil sketches and I have the brushes here I did use just to be honest and transparent the size 2 and the size 4 ahead of time and I do agree with the reviewer that mentioned that the bristles of the brush splay out um, so not really impressed with that but I'm going to continue to push forward and use them the best way I know how oh look at that looks like this one wants to be used first so okay and I'm using Bao Hong Academy paper. Okay, so I have a mixture here of a little bit of a green, bright green lake, I believe, and just a bit of chromium oxide green. I know, crazy mixture, but just, I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have in my dish here because, yeah, I'm working against time here. So let's go ahead and paint in a simple. birdie shape here, whimsical birdie shape. This is the size 16, so, oh boy. Lots of water and paint on this big guy, but that's okay. That's a good thing. Dipping the tip of my brush into the water just to have some of that flow. These are not 100% round either, but they are very pointy, which is a good thing. They're at a bit of an angle. But they do feel good to hold, at least these bigger ones do. And then I'll use the smaller one. Here we go. Smaller one for the beak. Be facing that way. Just a mixture of yellow ochre and raw sienna. I bring it right out. Just like that. on this uh, 
these smaller ones are really nice but they do splay out from underneath so be aware of that I think that's what that reviewer was also talking about all right and uh, let's go ahead and I'll just use this smaller brush here um, okay sorry taking that back let me move forward with this right here there we go I apologize I um, didn't know what I was gonna do to be honest <laughs> use this brush to make a bit of a highlight there in the middle and then as that dries because I'm going to bring in some of that really pretty rosy corally color in there all right so that effect I'm going to continue using this brush for the next birdie back a bit oh that's pretty Maybe this one's a bit more round. Making sure the autofocus lock is right here in the middle. Yep, this little birdie's gonna be facing this way. All right, then I can go back to that color right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I was actually going to make another one right here, but that actually looks really cute. can even bring some of that color in, and then use a side belly here to push it back out. Let's pick up some of this color here for the beak. top and I seem to be doing really good with this larger brush for all of them so why not go ahead and um, continue using it okay so I had to turn uh, the black upside down and I added just a little bit of yellow ochre uh, to that green mixture right there and this is going to be for the last bird I'm gonna bring them up a little bit higher be the smallest one Okay. 
see he has the darkest ink. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the burnt sienna to that mixture right there. And I see a little bit of an opening right here. So, yep, that works. Okay, that looks good. Let's give this guy some fancy little tail feathers here. Uh, just keeping it simple, I guess. <laughs> I didn't think about this too much if I, if I keep it real, so. Um, That's that. There we go. Definitely <laughs> a little different, but I'm gonna embrace it and I'm going to just, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and begin to add the legs to uh, these guys here. A little bit of raw umber just should do the trick. All right, I'm going to bring long, little leg down there. Maybe he's balancing. Yep, yeah, as I bringing that down I can see the tip of the brush splaying going upwards I'm not a real fan of that to be honest but I was just curious about these brushes all right I'm not going to do anything as far as feet or anything this is simple whimsical and keep it moving let's go ahead and see how this one's standing up to blend it in. And you know what? That works for me too. Let's go ahead and all right, super simple. You guys wanted a birdie stack, so here's your birdie stack. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab, let's just grab, what is this, the six and eight? Let's begin to work in these different colors, going right into already, the, the ready corally color. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> Wow. 
works too. One second here. Oh, perfect. Right there. Move along, move along, because if I begin to fuss, then I will begin to backtrack, and then it'll look all sorts of funky. All right, so bright make and chromium color, I guess. I need something a little bit darker. I wasn't expecting to use those two together, so I'm a little off, to be honest. Um, I might have to bring in some PG-8 to the rescue. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't mean to be so quiet, it's just <laughs> I'm anxious. <laughs> I added a bit more of the bright red. I'm sorry, not bright red, red light. I guess this one's a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> Since the other two came out a little less weird than this one. But, but I'm going to use, I don't know if you guys can see, a little bit of that darker color coming out from here and then the lighter color stayed up there. I'm actually going to use that. And I'm gonna follow the line that was naturally made by the brush stroke. That'll be the tip of his uh, tail feather kind of bending over on itself. That's what I see. I hope you guys can see that too. And usually I would make a big fuss about um, these areas mixing and blending into each other, but I'm okay if they do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to actually add a little bit darker color right here and use the opposite brush to blend out and then after this I'm going to begin it to add in the details I just want some of this darker green to also be present in, in him as well. And if you're careful, you can gently blend in that color into this one and just have it be like a soft, soft blend. That's a lousy, lousy uh, <laughs> paisley shape. That's what I was going for to be honest, but it didn't work out for me there. I am going to use this darker color though to just darken up the lines right here. I gotta be careful because I can easily reshape things when I don't want to with the tip of these brushes. They have very pointy tip and it's angled. Yep, and it frays out right there. I could see it. So I'm 
just a little bit of darker color, a little bit of reshaping. And then using the lightest value here to just blend that out. As far as a little tail, tail uh, leaf there, let's go ahead and add a little bit of darker value right here between where they both meet. Just because I want to keep that highlight that I did earlier. I want to keep that there. There we go. Uh, well, almost went for the wrong green. There we go. Yeah, these brushes are good for these nice side blends like that. You know, using it sideways. Oh my gosh, I love just the softness of it right there. Like, I don't need to do nothing to that right there. That just looks good, if I do say so myself, the way it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just separate this area from the beak. Oh goodness, they're just so nice. Do the same thing for right here. Although that is a nice soft blend, but I do like the darker color right there as well. I wanna keep it right there. So what I did was I just tidied up and darkened some of these areas here, right underneath here, and also right here, just adding a really pretty color right there, and then gently blending it out. Take turns between bringing it out and then kind of pushing it back in. Just to get that soft blend, I added it underneath the wing right there. I could not be more happier with just how beautiful that green looks right there. There is just not much to do because the way this was painted, even though it's kind of looking this way, <laughs> um, it's looking really good. It's kind of one of those things where if you keep adding to it, you might ruin it. So I'm going to add just a few little details here. Real careful. One. Just little mark makings. Making, excuse me. Two, three. Leave it alone. Leave it alone because if I begin to do something, then it's not going to look good. All right. <laughs> um, where is that Posca pen? I purchased. There you are. I knew you weren't too far. These things are expensive, and the only one I could find was the more um, thicker tip. So, I'm 
oh my lord <laughs> sweet soft and whimsical i think that's a good way to um to describe it oh, i wish it was the thinner one Okay, so I went ahead and added just a few more little dots right there. Had to carefully um, hold the pen over so it doesn't get too big. And then, because I don't want to add any more on purpose, I want to try to keep this as sweet and simple. And to be honest, the lighting is, <laughs> is uh, getting worse. And I'd like to take some pictures outside if you do see some more details in the community tab button or in the thumbnail, then you know I added a few extras, but I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I just, <laughs> they are super, super sweet. I just wanted to test out these brushes and I know I didn't use all of them, but I used uh, a few of them and the larger ones. So these are the ones I used today. Did I use a size four? I don't know. Either way, I definitely used these right here. Um, the size 2, 8, 6, and 16 to create these cute little whimsical birds. And um, I was trying to do like a soft pastel uh, Christmas theme, but well, I'm just glad I was able to share. <laughs> this makes me so happy. And okay, I'm going to go take pictures. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.